Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Animal Kingdom. The holidays actually started here last week, but I haven't gotten the chance to come out yet. So that's what we're gonna do today. Explore the holiday festivities at Animal Kingdom. Let's go do this. And there it is, there's the Christmas tree. It's lit up right now, but we're not gonna be able to see it like really merry and bright because the park closes at five o'clock, but it's such a beautiful tree. Do you see the hidden Mickey all the way up at the top there? And I also love all the figurines at the bottom of the tree. You got Eeyore at the bottom, and then you got Rue, and then you got Piglet, and these little characters are actually from the animated Lion King. I remember seeing these in the entrance, like during the Circle of Life song. And speaking of Lion King, take a look at that lion ornament right there. Or that rhino one, that rhino one's like a metal. These are really nifty. Another thing I really love is how they keep the theming with the Christmas music too. I'll give you a listen. Do you hear it? Ha ha ha! Decorations all on the Animal Kingdom sign. And like I said, I just appreciate all the theming. How everything is perfectly fitting in with the concept of Animal Kingdom. The sun is currently setting around 6 o'clock here in Orlando, Florida. And like I said, with the parks being closed at 5, it's hard to get some of the nighttime activities done like when it comes to the holidays. But if you can grab a reservation, I know they booked them an hour after the park closes, then you can walk out and kind of enjoy it. And then you can possibly see the Tree of Life come alive with holiday colors and some beautiful music as you just heard there. I love it here so much. It also seems like the park is very not busy today, like it's not crowded at all. I'm very happy about that. I was able to show most of this garland the other day before they kicked off and then all of the animals up there are from the menagerie that used to perform down here which was one of my favorite things from last year during the holidays and like I said take a look at the bigger figurines here they're so elegant like look at this one very elegant I feel like I've been associating bubbles with Snope a lot this year I think it's a good filler. <laughs> Decided to come and hang out and try to watch some of the character cavalcades. Looks like Chip and Dale and Goofy are coming through on their holiday boat. I like it. <laughs> mm. Looks like we got Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto coming our way. Ooh, wow, they look so festive. That is so cool. And they got a little holiday jingle too. Hi, Mickey! I'm sorry, Pluto and Minnie, but hi to you, too! Look at how everyone is so happy. Oh, that is great. I didn't know they all came so frequent. I don't know why people don't sit here more often, but here comes the man himself. Well, not really Mickey's the man himself, but this is the man himself for the holidays. There he is. There's Santa. I love seeing all the kids excited. Hi, Santa! Hello! And now a whole set's coming out. We got Donald, Daisy, and Launchpad. Look, they're performing just for those two people up there. That's so nice. <laughs> this really is such a great spot to just come and watch the character cavalcades. I love it. And it's a good place to come and just sit down and take your mask off, drink a beer. Really awesome. I never even thought about it before. And since we're over here, we might as well ride Expedition Everest. I'm very excited. I always love this ride. It's always my favorite, actually. Looks like we got lucky row number one. Bye! So excited.
old. Uh oh. <laughs> I dropped my phone on the ground. Look at that, guys. I dropped my phone on the ground. Oh, that's so scary. I, I put my foot on it to hold it down there. Wow. That has never happened to me on this ride. But look at right there it is. That's crazy, right? Oh. That was so much fun, but such a rare encounter to lose your phone and like be at the grasp of the ride. Like as soon as I heard my phone fall out of my pocket and hit the ground, I slammed my foot down knowing that it was going to be right there. And I just pressed like holding it there, but it could have flew out any time. Wow, I just feel lucky. And because it's a hot day, I think I might be willing to ride Cali River Rapids today. I'm a little worried about the camera, but I think it'll be okay as long as we keep a little baggie with us. If you ride Cali River Rapids and you plan on filming it, I highly suggest you grab yourself a bag. And as long as you know where the water is going to actually hit, just put the camera in the bag real quick and uh, then pull it out again later. Other things like my cell phone, I'm putting that in a locker. You will get wet and you may get soaked and I'm going to show you what that means but I'm excited I haven't rode this in probably a good year maybe two and please don't take your shoes off <laughs> don't take your shoes off folks <laughs> hats and glasses you best remove them but keep on your shoes this has such a themed queue I absolutely love it it's definitely an underrated ride but like I said you're gonna get wet so a lot of people don't want to ride it Oh boy, there she goes. This is ours. Five. Five, five, five. They used to have like a gigantic like area where you could put your stuff and keep it dry in here and it had a little plastic top to it, but not no longer. I'm excited because part of this ride is just such a nice little cruise through the woods. Like it's very nice and relaxing. I was thinking, like, there's probably so much chlorine in the water, it just sanitizes itself. Oh, there we go, we're rising up. You raise me up. <laughs> yep, that's what I said. One per yep, it's all luck of the draw. Yeah, it's gonna be right there. Thank you. Yep, no problem. <laughs> It's depending, like I said, uh, which way the vehicle rotates, whether or not you may get soaked. Yeah. Oh, you think it's me, huh? Oh. Nah. Ooh, do you hear the animal sounds? Here we go. Gonna get a little choppy here, but look at that shot of Everest. Wow, that is beautiful, isn't it? Now we're coming up on it. Oh no, that truck is about to fall in. Uh oh, uh oh, we're getting stopped there. Oh no, come on. Come on, oh, spin, spin, spin. Uh-oh, here we go. Uh-oh, it's not looking good for you guys. No, 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 no. Okay, I better put the camera away here, guys. But I'll let you know. We're just hanging out here. Uh-oh, oh boy. Let, let it just turn just a little bit. I'm, I'm looking, oh, 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 it's going away. Turn, turn, turn. Turn! Oh yes! Turn! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, I think it was you. <laughs> oh, here comes the little jingle jangle. Some more right here for you. Oh, oh. And look at that. See, I'm not even that bad. Nicely dry. Uh-oh. We got these people over here. They like to shoot water at us though, so we're not over yet. Ha! Huh. 
These are my pants. Like I said, it's not too bad. You know, they're a little wet. A little. They do sell ponchos themselves, but I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. I do not like ponchos. I actually hate ponchos. I hate the way they feel and I hate the way they sound. So even if I knew I was gonna get soaking wet, I probably would just go without the poncho. They used to have things right here where you can actually shoot the people with water, but it's all gone now. And they shut off my favorite little fountain here too. I remember just coming here and sticking my head in here and it was so much fun. Things have changed drastically over time. And now since I'm still a little bit wet, I think I'm gonna go hang out in Dino Land and see what kind of holiday festivities they got going on over there. But my friends, the WDW Travels, are actually gonna leave me for the day. It was nice hanging out with them though. It was fun. You didn't get too wet, did you? Uh, a little bit. A little yeah, bit. Right. Soaked. <laughs> So Thanks, buddy. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you guys next time, all right? Bye. Bye. They were fun to hang out with, and I'll put their Instagram in the description below. They've been watching the videos for a long time, so it was great to actually hang out with them for a little bit. But now it's time to head into Dinoland USA for exploration, excavation, and exhilaration. I didn't even know they said that up there. It was our first time reading it. Dino Land was one of my favorite decorated areas for the holidays because I love the music they play over here. It's different from the one out front. They can do like a more modern type of music. And also I love the pretty lights. And of course I love the Santasaurus. This is so pretty to look at at night. I know it's a little dark, but it's just lit up so pretty and the lights change. We could probably see it a little bit right here. Isn't that cool? They do have some holiday offerings over here, a menagerie cupcake, and then they have a warm chocolate caramel brownie. The menagerie cupcake looks pretty interesting though, doesn't it? But after talking to my friends from Ear to Ear Magic, I decided that I think I'm gonna go get that menagerie cupcake. It sounds really interesting. So I just purchased the menagerie cupcake and it's gonna be inside the Restaurantosaurus. Take a look at the little Christmas decorations up there. Those probably look really nice, all lit up. But I'll tell you what, this guy right here, you're not getting my cupcake, sir. Rain Poncho, 1126. That's such an odd number, right? Why are they charging $11.26 for a poncho? This place is such a cool restaurant. Look at the dinosaurs, kind of like deer head mantles. And then there's a pterodactyl, like skeleton hanging from the roof. I always loved it in here. And there it is. The Menagerie Cupcake. I keep on saying Menagerie because I think it's fancy that I can pronounce it right. But why do they keep making cupcakes so beautiful? Like you don't want to cut into that. I don't want to damage it. It looks like art. And I found a little table over here and gained an extra little treat because I ran into some friends. Yeah, and they have channels. We have- Adventures it, with VP. Yep, and then- The, the Mickey Vines. Yep. They're made magic. They gave me some of their pumpkin cookie with vanilla cream. Look at that. Very fancy. I really have a feeling I'm going to like the pumpkin ice cream sandwich more than I'm going to like the menagerie cupcake. So we're going to try this one first. That is it right there. I absolutely love it. The cookie is so soft. The ice cream is melting like right now, but it's still absolutely amazing. Very good. I'm gonna try cutting right through it with the wrapper. I'm gonna go this way and then right down below like this. Oh, look, it's working. Yeah, nope, I'm destroyed it. It is a very good looking cupcake. I'm all about the ginger, but I'm just not so much about the cream cheese. So we're just gonna see how it goes. But we'll give it a go. Wow, lots of sweetness. Whoa, the pumpkin one was better. Yep, pumpkin one way better, way, way better. If you do come here for some desserts, the Menagerie cupcake was good. It's just I don't like the cream cheese. I ate the cake all day long. It was definitely a little spicy, but go with the cookies, uh, like the cookie ice cream sandwich. They have a holiday one that changes up every single year or season, they said. So I'm excited to come back and try the festive holiday one. That pumpkin was the fall one. 
For one last look at Santasaurus though, because it is getting a little bit darker out so you can see more and more lights. Man, I love that. But now I'm gonna start heading back out and work my way through Discovery Island again. Like I said, I wish it was just a little bit darker out, a little bit later, you know? I just, I, I don't have the time today to do it, but it's definitely worth it just stick around a little late to see the lights turn on. They're starting to turn on a little bit right here. My friends are taking off. Guys, we'll see ya. Bye, bye. <laughs> and you can see right here are some more lights. Is that a little kitty cat in the tree? <laughs> I think it is, or a rabbit? No, that's a kitty cat. That's definitely a kitty cat. I had to hop inside the mercantile because I wanted to get another Christmas mask while I was here. And they have so many nifty Christmas things in here. All the Starbucks ornaments and cups, and then take a look at all the garland in the back there. But this is the mask I'm gonna get. I see everyone wearing this one, and I never got it yet, so might as well add it to the collection. Now I'll save this mask for a nice dry day. This one's a little bit wet right now because I know I got splashed a little bit on Cali River Rapids. And I figured we'd head on our way out and check out the Christmas tree again. Because now, like I said, this is going to be a little bit more brighter with the lights because they got a little darker, but not much. Oh, you definitely can see more lights. Nobody's getting any photos with the photo pass person. I'll fix that. That's gonna be a fun picture, I just know it. Let's take another look at the tree one last time though. Just before we head out, I like these little blocks back here. Like you got Rafiki's got a block, and then Zazu! But anywho's, I think that's gonna do it for me today. I had so much fun. It was great to just get out to Animal Kingdom. And now we're kind of walking out with this like Christmas like jungly music, and I like it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!